Welcome to Haslip Cycle Works. I'm Robert. If you're returning and you've already subscribed, welcome back and thank you. If you're new and haven't subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button for me. It'll really help me out. We're going to continue working on our project mini trike. I've got all the parts here to go ahead and fab up our gas tank. So let's build a gas tank. Now for our gas tank, I went ahead and went with the Bunking, it's a funny name, but awesome guys, they sell some great parts. Definitely going to put a link to it down in the description. And this actually comes as a kit from them. It's a 5 inch piece of steel tubing, two of the matching dome ends comes with some quarter NPT bungs, a bung for the filler, and the filler cap itself. This kit's usually made to be used as an oil tank, so what we'll have to do is vent our filler cap. I also went ahead and purchased a few other fittings, and I have a fuel shutoff valve, same thing that you would find on a motorcycle or something, just because we Got rid of the factory Predator carb, so we don't have a fuel shut off. So instead of using one of those plastic ones, um, I don't really care for those. So I purchased this one. This one is all metal, and it's going to essentially thread right into our tank. Uh, this kit from BungKing.com is actually called the F-Bomb. It is the 5-inch diameter tube kit. They have a 6-inch diameter tube kit, and I believe they call that the Pipe Bomb. I've already measured and I'm going to use the full length of this tube. We're not going to cut it or anything. So I'm going to clean up the edges and start welding our dome caps on. And then we'll have to pop the holes for our filler and our fuel valve. Let's go ahead and get on it. So what we want to do is just go ahead and get this lined up and we're just going to tack it in say three spots and then we'll verify that everything is good. It's a lot easier to cut a tack off and reposition than it is to fully weld this and realize it's not lined up and then have to start all over again. got one dome end pre-fitted. I think what I may want to do before we fit this end on is go ahead and pre-drill for our fuel supply. Hopefully you can see that. Can use this as a beginning for a regular drill bit and it'll be nice and centered and not walk all over the place. We've got our hole popped in our domed cap here, our bung for our fuel supply drops right in. Nice fit, doesn't rattle around. So what I'm going to do now is just tack this in two places, then we need to tack it, the entire assembly, to our tube. We've got our tank tacked up. What I need to do now is see where we need to mount, probably around here, our bung for our filler and the actual filler neck. 
and see how it looks on the bike. Make sure that it's going to be in a good spot. Drill the hole for this, and then we'll tack that in place. And we'll do one final fit, make sure everything's good, and then we'll burn it all together. <laughs> After I fully welded up our gas tank, um, what I did was took the angle grinder, which is a flap disc, and kind of glided over the welds and blended it back so that it looks more like one solid piece. So I'm going to do the same thing to this end, and it's real simple. You don't put a whole lot of weight on it, just kind of back and forth, back and forth. Just keep it moving, and uh, before you know it, you've worked all the way around, and it looks nice and seamless. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on this end, and then we're going to try to figure out how we're going to mount this to our mini trike. I've got the tabs mounted to our gas tank now. Unfortunately, I was not able to capture footage of that, but these are done. This one will be towards the front of the bike, and this towards the rear. Uh, the, now the tabs, these are called trick tabs. And they come from our friends over at UTV Distribution, the same people that I bought the dimple die set from. Of course, I'm gonna put a link down in the description for these. I'll have some stills kind of running in the background. I was able to take a couple pictures of the process of getting these on. So yeah, these are gonna be sweet. We got them on there just right. Now, to mount from these tabs to the frame, I didn't want to go through the frame. So what I did was took some flat stock, one and a quarter by an eighth, and just made a simple mount. Rounded the corners and rounded the edges off. This is the one for the back. Let's see, little mount here. This will mount to the lower portion of the tubes on the top of the bike. It'd probably make more sense if I showed you. So what we're gonna do is I will weld this roughly there, and then we'll have another one up front with a single hole in it, and those holes will correspond to the holes on the tank and that will give us our mounts. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lay on the floor and tack these in upside down. I'm going to get them all measured out, make sure they're in the right spot, and tack them in. I'll make the front one, tack that in, and we'll bolt the tank to it, make sure everything fits real good. Now that we've got our fuel tank attached to the frame, what we need to do now is get it plumbed in. So we're gonna use our fuel valve that I showed you earlier, along with some fuel line from Amazon. I'm gonna to have to get a fuel filter and our cap. We're gonna to have to vent this. To vent our filler cap, 
I think what I'm going to do is just run a very small drill bit right through the center of this because we don't need a large hole we just need enough um, to keep from building up a vacuum in our tank so that we keep feeding fuel so if that ends up not being good enough or we don't like that what I can do is use that really small hole that we're going to punch through this as a pilot and we can run a larger drill and tap it for say an MPT fitting and put a 90 degree bar fitting on it and one of those little filters from Go Power Sports. And when they machine it, you can kind of tell. There's a very small point right there. That is dead center, so you don't have to worry about trying to mark that out. So I'm just gonna use my spring-loaded center punch and then a center drill bit on the drill press. That way we know it's straight and start putting that in there. And then hopefully I don't snap a drill bit when I run it all the way through got our hole popped through our filler cap didn't break a bit thankfully um, 1 8 inch and just to prove that it goes all the way through piece of welding wire there we go it's on the center back side and front side that should work to give us the break from the vacuum so that we keep feeding fuel next step we need a fuel filter to connect our two fuel lines. Uh, the carb actually has a smaller fuel line than the tank. So what I'm going to do is uh, try to stretch the smaller fuel line that's for the carb over the fuel filter. And the other side of the fuel filter will be made to fit the fuel line coming off the tank. That should be it for the fuel tank. So let me go get that fuel filter. We'll get that on. Managed to pick up a fuel filter for Project Mini Trike and as you can see it's red matches the red lines red filter and a couple of the uh, other accents that we plan on putting on this and I went ahead and cleaned up our lines for the Makuni just held on with zip ties if you do this make sure you don't cinch those down you don't want to pinch those off I need to get I've got the fuel lines on I just need to get them on a little bit better put some clamps on and I think that's it I think we've got our fuel tank project done for project mini trike we've got our fuel valve here that works the tank is done mounted it is on there real solid and we got our vented cap so I think that's gonna wrap it up for this one guys thanks for following along and We'll see you on the next one. Get up, get out there and do it.